What's up, Z listeners? AJ here. You know, we really do need a better name for you guys. Anyway, before we jump into this episode, I just want to say I fucked up, okay? We had everything set to film this episode, and we did film this episode, but I had the camera way too overexposed, and I didn't realize it when we were filming. I tried to fix it in post, but the footage is just unusable. So, in this episode, you will hear us talking about being on camera, and we were, But the video episode of this podcast is not coming out. This is going to be our last audio-only podcast. So everyone after this going forward, the video will be out, I promise. But unfortunately for this one, the video is unusable. And one more thing. I showed Brady a video in this episode. You guys will be able to hear the video, but head over to our Instagram. I'm going to post it there, at the Z-Listers, and you'll be able to see the video that I showed Brady. But uh, yeah, Enjoy the last audio-only episode. Thank you to everybody that's been tuning in, showing support. You know, we really love doing this. We have a lot of fun. Um, I think you guys are really going to like this episode. And I was going to say, we'll see you in the next one, but you'll see us in the next one. But for now, let's jump right into this episode. You're now listening to the Z Listers podcast with Brady Neal and AJP. Yeah, we'll let you go. We'll let me go. Yeah. Okay. We'll let she go. Don't. <laughs> Welcome to the Z-Listers Podcast. My name is AJP. Next to me is my beautiful co-host, Brady Neal. And uh, it's a big day for us. Why is it a big day for us? Because we're filming it. (laughs) (laughs) Because we're filming it. (laughs) And it's blinking all sorts of concerning lights. Well, really just one concerning light. I kind of don't know what I'm doing. Yeah, well, he he always talks about all that he does and like he's got the whole thing figured out and he doesn't even know how the fucking camera works. Okay. I'll take uh, I'll take some responsibility here. He thinks here. he's Stanley fucking Kubrick. <laughs> he thinks he's Emmanuel Lubezki. Tell me when you're done. Okay, I'm done. Okay. To 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 your credit, I'll I'll take some responsibility here and say I should have like messed around with this at home over the weekend cuz I knew we were coming to do this today. Mm-hmm. Um but I didn't. And Clearly. now we're setting it up here, it and it's shows. ten o'clock uh-huh. on Easter Sunday. And I have to, I have to go to bed. You have to be like at work now. in eight hours. Yep. And that's not an exaggeration. Nope. So um, you're going to be getting about four hours of sleep tonight, mm-hmm. which is less than ideal. Well, but what did you t- what did you say to me? I said once this podcast gets big and we're making millions, I'm never ever going to wake up before noon. I like that. Yeah, that's a good um, that's a good mantra to have. Mm-hmm. Um, if you see me looking over here, I got the computer over here and just trying to make the, I'm trying to make it look as good as possible. Also, I don't know if I should address the camera or address you, but with, I was just gonna say, like, do we look at them? I feel yeah. like I feel. Hey, Jordan. <laughs> Are you? <laughs> Hey buddy, now you know what we look like. Hey, what's up, buddy? <laughs> I wonder. I wonder if he pictured us. Like, are we as white as we sound? Because <laughs> because under these lights, I look like glaringly white. Yeah, we both like, look like ghosts. But have you heard of Vanta Black before? Yes, yes. The We're shade the of black that ab- absorbs like all yep, light. Yep. We're the opposite. Yeah. Um. <laughs> yeah. So may- maybe we should look at each other and you know break Hold the fourth other. wall when uh, no break the fourth wall when we feel necessary. Mm-hmm. What did we do the last time? Because last time. We set up and we did like a test run, but we didn't actually film it. Were we looking at? I think we were looking at each other the whole time. Probably. Yeah. I think sometimes it's it's natural. Yeah. You know? Dude, I can't wait. I can't wait to be on on a fucking boat in the south of France mm-hmm. and like watching this one. Yeah. You know what I mean? Oh my god! And, and just you're like on a matching boat kinda, over there. We're both just like reposed, you know, like on like some some nice pillows. There's like women stroking us, or I mean, you you know, yeah. m- maybe not you so much because you're spoken for, but there will be lots of women stroking me, and I'll just be looking at it reclined, and I'll just be like, 
That's how. And then that's how I'm gonna laugh when I have a lot you of money. Zoom out, and the boat is black, has our logo on it. Uh-huh. And it's just like, but we're just fucking chilling. <laughs> the <laughs> sails have zero. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's so cool. You I'm ever ready see? Um, it. Have you ever seen Steve Jobs' yacht? No. I think it's like all black. If I'm remembering this right, it's like all black, and it looks like it looks like an Apple uh-huh. fucking product. It uh-huh. looks like it. Have you seen it? No, I was just oh. thinking. It was, I, I I thought you were gonna say it's like all black, and then the bottom looks like a pair of jeans. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it looks like a turtleneck, and then the part that's <laughs> underwater, the hole, that That'd looks like so a cool. looks like a pair of denim jeans. That'd be so cool. Oh man, dude, I'm excited though. I I have a surprise for you. Yeah, you've been hyping this up for a while now. I have, and I guess I guess we could just get it out of the way now. Okay. So, I, I was I was nervous to do this episode. Why? Because like, I don't you know. You didn't know what you were doing. Well, one, I guess yeah, that I didn't know what I'm doing. Two, like. You know, things work at home, but then you get here and fucking Murphy's Law, you know? Right. And um, just being on camera, you know, because we have to we have to still be loosey goosey. Yeah. And it'll we'll get used to it. But like other times I've been on camera, like music and performing and stuff like you do music. Uh, other times I've been on camera, like I'm performing my song for a music video or like I'm on stage. So it's like I'm not even thinking about it. Mm-hmm. But now, like the only thing in this room is you and the camera, you know? Yeah. And uh, I don't think it'll change the, the dynamic of the podcast, but okay, you never know. I want to say something for the record. You did say that you cannot wait for me to get in front of the camera because I'm going to clam up. And now it's... I'm, yeah. I'm, <laughs> this is showbiz, and You're I'm right. You're right. ready You're, for it. You, you were ready for it. Mm-hmm. And I'm ready, too. I mean, I'm fucking cool as a cucumber here, but I'm just like, you know me, I'm always in my own head and shit, so... Here's the thing. I can't really see myself if that's... Little oh, because sc- you're on the other side. If that, No, no, no. If that screen on the camera were bigger so I could actually really see myself in real time, then I'd be clamming up because i'd be looking at myself and i'd be like ah why did i choose that shirt or what the fuck's wrong with my hair so you're saying i should get a monitor for over there so you could see it yep so that i just sit here like this that costs money Mm -hmm. you (sighs) no no i'm saying i don't want that i was jokingly going along i don't want that okay i don't want to see myself ever I, i know i asked you in the last episode but like how does it feel now because you haven't contributed to any of this. <laughs> you keep saying that. I'm part of this legacy. Like we sure, sure, we sure. We would be but, nothing without me. Sure. But, like, I, I asked you to get something that was $27, and you didn't buy it, and I had to. Whoa. Well, here, here's what happened. He sent me a link for— I was trying to be kind. I <laughs> sent you a link, and I said, we need this. He said, we need this for the podcast, and I said— <laughs> I said, so do you want me to buy it? <laughs> and I was like, yeah, I'm kind of asking you to buy it. <laughs> but but you were kind of asking. You didn't actually ask. And if you if you change your tone a little bit, maybe we could have made something happen. I'm I'm so I'm so ready to show you what I have to show you because mm-hmm. it's just you're just being a pompous jerk. Oh no! And oh, is it gonna be like <laughs> like a tally of how much you've spent? No, I hope no, no. Not. I already sent that to you privately. Uh-huh. I. What I was getting at when I was saying I was nervous is I called up a friend of mine, right? Okay. And you don't know him, but I was on Give the Give me phone. his first name. I might. Chris. Yeah. Chris. Chris you, Sarandon? You don't know him. Okay. So I called him up and I'm like, hey, you know, me and my friend do a podcast and we're about to switch to video and I'm really, like, I'm nervous, you know? And- Chris Gethard? No, you don't, oh. know, you don't know him. <laughs> Dude, I would be so excited. Dude, you don't know him. Okay. So- Well, I don't know Chris Gethard. Sure, right? sure. But- and I was like, you know, and, and my co-host, my friend that I do it with, you know, he's kind of a, I, I, I don't want to tell him, tell you the phrasing I used with him, but I'm like, you know, he kind of doesn't really, he's kind of like a, a mooch, you know, and he kind of does okay. his own thing. And, you know, he's just really irresponsible. He doesn't listen to me. Uh-huh. You know, I try to give him great advice uh-huh. and he, he doesn't take it from me. He goes to ask other people. You know, would you do that? You know, you'll go ask other other friends, and you won't take my advice. And I'll be like, "Why didn't you do it?" Oh, you, you. I'm upset. Yeah, yeah. And oh, I'm I'm upset too. But anyway, so I feel like these are these are false. No, 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 no. They're not. And I'm like, you know, he's he's like, we, we could have did had this off the ground earlier, but then you go out, you get COVID, you're out at parties and all this. And I'm like, bro, we we started this podcast in 2017. Don't, 18, 18. Okay, don't no, no, don't no, tell still, me we could have had this off the still, ground I mean, earlier. Recently, I mean, I was so ready. All this shit's been here, and then you're like, oh, I think I got COVID. I got away. I got quarantine. Get a test. And I'm just like, he's just so irresponsible. And 
you know, whatever. So my friend was like, you know, I'll, I'll, um, I'll, I'll see what I could do. Is it Chris Martin from Coldplay? <laughs> no, no, it's okay. not Chris Martin. So um, now I forget about this conversation because okay. this is just such a, it's such a, it's not even a footnote in my life. You right. A couple of days go by and I get an email uh-huh. from this, from this person. And oh, uh, it was a video. Oh no. Right. And I watched it and I was like, if this doesn't whip you into shape, I don't know what will. I'm trying to think, like, is it some... Who do I know named Chris? You, I, I'm telling you, you don't know him. He's my friend. Okay. You don't know him. Okay, so it, it really is just a random person? Well, no, it's... I mean, you might know him when you see him. It's going to be a famous Chris? Y- you might know him when you see him, but you don't Chris know Pratt? him. No, no, no. Okay. <sighs> So I, I also want to say, I'm nervous now. You should be. <laughs> you should be. And this really should. There's gonna get be you a guy under- named Chris yelling at me. He he doesn't yell, but he gives you a talking to. Okay. Um, is it sort of like, um, I know you wouldn't know anything about this. Is, is it like when a dad says they're not angry, <laughs> they're just disappointed? <laughs> that was a low blow. <laughs> Are you okay with me saying that? Yeah. Can we fine. joke about that? Sure. Okay. Yeah, yeah. I mean, we joke about that personally all the time. Yeah, I don't. Whatever. I don't. For for backstory, his dad's dead. He's dead. <laughs> um. <laughs> <laughs> all right, that's normal. Yeah. Okay. Um. Yeah. For us, that's 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 uh mm-hmm. that's light work for us. Yeah. It, <laughs> yeah we say some awful yeah. shit to each yeah. other. Um. But it's all love. Yeah. Of course. Um. But I also want you to know. That they'll be able to hear this too, so don't don't think like they can't oh, okay. hear the the, the video. Mm-hmm. Okay. Okay. I thought um, you meant like the video you're gonna show me is gonna be live. No, no, no. But okay. they'll be able to hear it. What I am okay. gonna do is turn it down, so we're gonna come out of our headphones so that you could hear the video. Okay. And then I'll put us back in the headphones. No, but you you need the headphones on to hear the video. Okay. But you're not gonna hear us in our headphones oh, anymore. Oh, gotcha. Okay. Mm-hmm. So I'm really scared. Should I be looking at the TV? Yeah, I'm gonna play it on the TV. Oh fuck. Okay. Oh fuck! You know who that is? Is Do you Chris? Know who that is? I don't know. Okay, that's Chris Hansen. <laughs> <laughs> and he has a message for you from Dateline. Yeah, so I'm gonna need you to listen. Oh up. my god! It's a message for Brady. Brady Neal. What does that name sound so suspiciously familiar? Maybe because your secret screen name is Yo Soy McLovin? What do you mean by Yo Soy McLovin? Brady, Chris Hansen here of Hansen vs. Predators to catch a predator and have a seat with Chris Hansen. Now, Brady, I'm going to need you to have a seat right over there. I've been going through some transcripts and I have some questions and some concerns. You know, Brady... Uh, You should know this, but we're still dealing with a pandemic. You're still supposed to be socially distant, responsible, not going to bars on the weekends, seeing things and doing things online, swiping left and swiping right, missing a lot of work. (laughs) It's the sort of behavior that could lead you to meet me in a dark kitchen someplace, Brady, having to call, I don't know, EJ to throw your bail. Do you think EJ would do that? (laughs) Doubtful. EJ's got issues, too. So behave yourself. Yo soy McLovin. And if you can manage that, I'll let you go just this once. But I'll be watching, and I'll see you soon on the TV and my YouTube channel. Have a seat with Chris Hansen with new predator investigations. Don't be in them. Just watch them. In the meantime, I'll be watching you. So stay safe, stay healthy, and please try to stay out of trouble, Brady. (laughs) Now everybody's going to think I'm a child predator. What the fuck? (laughs) What the fuck? <laughs> he said he's going to be watching me. He's watching you. Why'd you tell him to say that? I didn't tell him to say anything. I'm a good boy. He just sent that over. What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> oh, my face hurts. So you're going to get your shit together now or what? <laughs> I guess I'd better. <laughs> Holy shit. Wow. So what do you think? Whew, that was something. What do you think about that? That was really something. Do you get to like send him a script or like how does that work? He just 
he just, you know, said whatever he wanted. Right, because he's a friend of yours. He's a friend of mine. What the fuck? Yeah. You you can't let people know my fucking username. You can't. <laughs> Chris have... Hansen knows it. <laughs> so now, like the FBI knows too, because he's definitely. Yeah, but buddies it's also them. you know it's on our Instagram. Yeah. I guess so. Whatever. Fuck it. We're, What's it matter? E- everybody knows you, all of our business. It's a bit anyway. suspicious that you don't want people to know your Instagram. Yeah, I guess so. I want hmm. I want oodles of followers. You got to turn us up the oh, the yeah. cans. These are called cans in the, the biz. So what do you think about that? That's fucking wild. Cool, that right? was great. That was delightful. I'm like a that? little frightened. You should be. Um, I had that ready for like a week, and I was like dying to show you. That's awesome. Can, yeah. can you tell me how much that costs you? But he's my friend. <laughs> I don't know. That's right. I'm breaking the bit. I'm sorry. <laughs> was it a surprise? I was not expecting that <laughs> at all. Oh, man. That that just made me really happy. That was fun. I watched it a thousand times. <laughs> I love that he said your name, and at the end, he was like, Brady. If I, just, if I can pull some money together over the next couple of years, I might get you a similar cameo from, <laughs> from somebody else. Dude, there might be more on the way for you. Yeah, I hope so. That, you never know. That's, that's, kind of, that's, that's kind of cool. I've never done that before. Like, he was talking into my soul. He was talking to you. That was that was specifically for you. Yeah, that's you want to know neat. something funny? What? I I sent him the like the info for it. Mm-hmm. I got it back in like twenty minutes. Nice. <laughs> so he, he's watching you. He was ready to go. Yeah, he's got his ear to the ground. Yes, he does. Um, and I just yeah. want to be clear: I don't do anything that he would need me to, <laughs> to watch me for. Not nothing that <laughs> the average person doesn't do. Um, yeah, but that was that was it, that that made my day when I got that. I was shocked I got it so quick. I was like, it made my night. This guy has nothing to do. I'm not going to be able to sleep tonight. Good. I'll send it to you. I'll text it to you. <laughs> there was, I wanted to send it to you in Snapchat so bad, but I wanted your real life reaction. Yeah. Now you got it. My no, cheeks it. hurt. Good. I'll make the other ones hurt later. <sighs> <laughs> All right. You got some notes or something? I don't know. Do you got some notes? Nope. Yeah. Never do. It's Easter Sunday. It I is. I think I said that. But Yeah. Did you do anything? Um, no, not really. Mm. Went to lunch with my grandma and I went to my mom's house. Uh, yeah, so what do you want to, what do you have any, do you even have any words after, after that message you just got? I don't know what to say. I mean. Dude, there's, there's so many people on there that I want to get, uh, cameos for you of. Did you look at, like, who's the cheapest get? Well, no, there, the thing is, like, now there's so many people on there mm. that it's like, it, some of the people are not even, like. It's like, who the fuck is it? You know what I mean? Right. I'm sure, I'm, again, I'm sure we're fucking Z-list celebrities. So who am I to be like, who the fuck is this guy on Cameo? We should but, get one. Dude, we should be on Cameo. <laughs> dude, imagine us on Cameo. Dude, that'd be great. <laughs> and we could just make it here after we film an episode. We'll yeah. just do all our Cameos yeah. here. Um, that'd be great, dude. Yeah. Let's get on Cameo. We're gonna. Yeah, eventually. we're gonna be on Cameo. People are, people are gonna be lining up to have us film Cameos. Fuck yeah. Um. And then the, the, there's some people that are just, like, crazy expensive. Right. Like, fucking for no reason. Like who? Who do you think is not worth the price of admission? Like, Brett Favre is $500. I mean, one of the goats, right? Sure, but, like, you got to think about who's buying cameos. Like, I, I would say 90% of their, like, customer base is doing it for a birthday or, like, a right. some, something like that. They're not doing it for what we did. Right. You know, so, or what I did. Mm. Um. Yeah, I don't know. Dice Clay's on there for three hundred bucks. Hey, you know we could we could actually pull up. Um, I forgot that we could do this. We can actually pull up cameo. <laughs> don't don't fucking say anything. You guys can't see the computer. It's over you know, here. And, you if, know you're how just li- and whole- if you're just listening, <laughs> you said this in the last one. If you're just listening, it, you. You know, go on, watch the video. On, but. on the home screen of like any like web browser, it has like your most your like most recent like links. the The Pornhub logo was on there. That's <laughs> not what that was, man. You misread it. He oh, so it. shameless. He misread so it. Shameless. It's my computer. Control shift. It's N. my computer. I do that on my computer. Control. What does that even do? It opens a new incognito. Window. I don't need to go incognito. It's my computer. <laughs> Still, I just like to keep it clean. For why? I don't know. In For- case somebody spies. You remember that show, Totally Spies? No. Okay. Then I won't get into it. But Floyd Mayweather, $999. Dollars. 
Not Floyd worth it. Ma- Paula Abdul, four hundred dollars. Fuck out of here. Not worth it. I I thought I thought this chick right here was two dollars. <laughs> oh no! But you just have to scroll over. Yeah. Um, Vanilla Ice, three hundred dollars. No way. Carlton, <laughs> two fifty for Carlton. Yeah, that's definitely. a steal. But also too, like Dice Clay does like five minute videos. Oh really? So for three hundred bucks, I mean, was he just like, "Hey, you fucking <laughs> stupid bitch"? <laughs> pretty much. Pretty much. Okay. Um, here, under 150. We'll see who's actually like. See, this is what I mean. Like, who's LA Beast? Do you know who that is? I have uh, no idea. All I know is he's a YouTube star, according to Mick that. Foley for 100 bucks. I don't even know who. I don't know shit about wrestling, bro. This I'm is sorry. like Golden Age wrestling. I'm sorry. Gold, who's like, the, the pink haired girl? I like her. Didi Khan. Didi She Con. probably doesn't even oh, look like that. Anymore. Yeah, I don't think so. Let's see what she is. Here, you look. You could scroll down and see her. Yeah. Uh, oh, she, she's false, still a stunner. False advertising. <laughs> and you know what? That's funny because they have to put an old picture because nobody knows who they are. Right. Kevin Conroy, Pierre yeah. Bouvier. Here's your boy. <laughs> <laughs> you paid fifty bucks for that. That's yeah. uh, that's actually not bad. Yeah. He should charge more. Mm. Pendulet one thirty five. Lavar Ball, a hundred and thirty three dollars. Oh, that's so specific. <laughs> <laughs> oh man! You know Are there any porn stars on here? You know this. Oh, where the oh. where the porn at, where the titty <laughs> models at? Dude, I was gonna get your fucking Mama June from uh, Honey Boo Boo. See, I got I, I knew it had to be somebody you knew. You know what I mean? Like, so much I, dead air. I'm so I sorry. Was, no, it's fine. It's not a problem. We have video now, so it's different. Right. You know, go watch but, the video. But yeah, but you got to also be considerate of the OGs yeah, yeah, still yeah, listening sure, to sure. audio. Uh, Not everybody's got that type of bandwidth. You know, some people got caps on their <laughs> internet. It's like you. Here. Hey, I have nice internet now. Um, I know that there used to be uh, porn stars on here, but I don't Just know. Just type in prawn. <laughs> I know that Alexis Texas was on here. Uh oh oh oh, yeah, dude! Oh, come adult. on, why didn't you give me that? 150 bucks? Do you think she, you know, I don't know. She just. I guarantee you somebody has bought themselves one and jerked it to it. <laughs> <laughs> just bought themselves a video. Do you think you can, like, for for that type of money, you, she wouldn't say anything dirty, like, oh, like, you're such a naughty boy. Oh. She wouldn't do that. Yeah, probably. Dude, here so? they are. Here they are. There we go. Here we are. Now we're freaking talking. <laughs> I hope th- I hope this is okay. I hope everybody feels comfortable and safe. Yeah, we're just looking at porn. Stoya, Stoya. <laughs> yo Stoya, if you're if you're watching this right now, dude, I'll get you. I'll get you. Fifty three dollars. You are underselling yourself. You are you are worth more than that. You're you're one of the greats. It's funny that there's guys on here too. Cool. Johnny <laughs> said, dude. Yo, you and him kind of look alike. You should yeah. you should do like a duet with him. Dude, I'll get him. I'll get him on the podcast. Yo, Corey Chase, that's fucking Ted Cruz's favorite. Allegedly. Is it? Is it? Allegedly. Uh, um, who else we got? I feel like I should know more of these names, but I don't. Oh, you know her. You've seen her. Brittany Amber. Yeah. Brittany Amber. I don't know if I said that loud enough. <laughs> um, this is making me want to go home and do something. <laughs> Uh yeah, there's a lot. Uh, Nikki Benz. Okay, okay. Nice. No way, they got Trace Trainer. <laughs> yeah, that's kind of. It's kind of sad. Nineteen bucks. That you like a you like a male. Well, no, I guess it's not sad. I guess uh, there's there's people out there for uh, for whatever you know. Mm-hmm. Dude, I'll go through others. Uh, we don't got to go through all the fucking Yeah, pages. we're we're <laughs> spending so much time on this bit. <laughs> we gotta we're going to have to cut all yeah. of that out. Nah, we'll keep it. We'll keep it. This is a fucking chill, relaxing video podcast, you know? How I, I wonder how entertaining we have to be to, like, really I don't know. make it, you know? I got to tell you. Well, okay. Say what you're going to say, and now I'm going to say what How you're entertaining say. do we have to be for me to buy a catamaran? Or at least lease. <laughs> I thought you were going to say a, a Cadillac, and I was going to be like, not that entertaining. <laughs> Why would you? No, but you're the guy that told me what what just changed because you're the guy that told me it's better to know a person with a boat than own a boat. That's true. That's true. You'll be the schmuck with the boat. I don't want a I'll... catamaran though. Why not? They're cool. No. 
Can I tell you something? I don't even really know what a catamaran is. I think it's a type of sailboat. But yeah. I, it's just I think that's fancy. the one with the, it's open in the middle and it's like has the two thing on oh, the side. Oh, yeah. You wouldn't want to. No. I want a yacht. Okay. Between like 50 and 69 feet long. Okay. There's no room for a helipad with that length. No, but what do I need a helipad for? For your helicopter. No, no, no. I don't need for a For me to come visit with my helicopter. No, you, you fly to whatever island I'm at, yeah. and I'll send a dinghy to go get you. Okay. And bring you back. Okay. Um, in true in true our relationship fashion, mm-hmm. I'm just going to let you buy a boat, and then I'm just going to mooch off of it. Okay. Do you? Does it feel like I'm a millionaire to you? <laughs> <laughs> The way you talk about yourself, definitely. But like you always, you always sound like you always sound like you don't give a shit about money. But I don't because like, why do we work? Yeah. What's the point? Just to hoard it to look at a number in an account? Yeah. That's whack. Yeah. Well, you know what's funny is I definitely live by that philosophy of not hoarding it and like, what's the point? But I also don't have money. But you. Yeah, and that that's why I ask you, how are you a real person? Yeah. Because you like you'll literally have like hundred do- hundreds of dollars. <laughs> I was gonna say a hundred dollars, but no, like you'll have like three hundred and ten dollars. <laughs> <laughs> but you're never like in any like dire straits. I don't know how you do it. Uh please <laughs> nobody's people are girls are gonna see this <laughs> i don't think they are they I don't think will so. not watch this at all um, but they're gonna see how two white that? males and how they're gonna do, be yeah, like they're tuned out no <laughs> how do you how do you do that um I and just, then out of nowhere you like you know because we used to work at the same place uh-huh. i got out of that shithole yeah but uh i'm still stuck you there. gotta get out of there dude. they're just this renewed is, me is, for another year <laughs> This is going to get you out of there. Yeah. Um, it might get me kicked out of there. It might get you kicked <laughs> out of there. Um, if we scroll through two more of those pages, it might have got you kicked out of there. Um, but then out of nowhere, you'll just have like three grand. Yeah. How do you do that? You also, you're 24, about to be 25. You don't have a savings account. <laughs> or a credit card. Or a credit card. Or credit. <laughs> or credit. <laughs> And I've been telling you that I've worked on mine. Dude, I'm at a 720. Uh-huh. That's pretty good, right? That's really good. <laughs> Dude, I have like practically no debt. And I'm not trying to brag. Uh-huh. You know? I just use credit cards responsibly and I'm trying to help you. Yeah. And you don't want to take my advice. It's and that's that why I... I got Chris Hansen to make a video for you. It's not that I don't want to take your advice, but it's that I can't be bothered. Do you know? You know what I mean? Like, but then when you're going to need it one day. Oh, for sure. And then reality is going to come crashing down, and what are you I'm gonna probably going to be in bad shape. You're going to come live in my closet, in my arcade? I mean, if you'll have me. Uh, otherwise. But you're doing okay right now. I might have to take the easy way out. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, Holy shit, this I guy's just, wild. I just feel like I like living life a certain way and I don't, I've told you before, I'm very disillusioned and and uh, disgruntled with the way that life works. Like I hate that there's a system where we just, and everybody's going to call me like a little baby or whatever, I'm immature. I hate that we have to work to live. Mm-hmm. Like, we can't just enjoy life. Listen, I, I'm fine with having to work like a little bit, but the fact that you have to like fucking, I mean, 40 hours a, a week is not that much, but yeah, it fucking is because I come home from work and I have literally, if I want to, listen, so if I want to sleep, I have to wake up at 4.50 in the morning. Um, I used to wake up at 5, but Damn, then I was- I got to get you out of here. No, it's okay. I, I don't want to keep you too I, late. You I get used up at four fifty now. Yeah, I used to wake up at five, but then I was, you know, I was ten minutes late to work every day. So, um, I started to wake up at four fifty, and I'm still late to work. Um, if I want to get eight hours of sleep, mm-hmm. I have to go to bed at about nine o'clock, technically eight fifty. But I don't do that. I go to bed at ten and just like make myself okay with the idea of getting seven hours. Because really, they say like eight isn't necessarily some magic number. Like seven should be it's, good. What do you feel good with? How many yeah, hours exactly. do you feel good with? Well, I'll tell you, seven is not cutting the mustard. <laughs> anyway, so I get home from work around three o'clock. Mm-hmm. I, if I want eight hours, um, I got to go to bed by nine, right? Mm-hmm. 
So that's six fucking hours every day that I get to enjoy my life. That's not a lot, you know? Yeah, I mean. So that fucking sucks. But you have Sunday and Saturday and Sunday. And it just flies right by. And the whole time I'm thinking about going back to work on Monday. I'm dreading going to work tomorrow. If you're my boss and you're watching this, <laughs> fuck you. <laughs> I'm never going to get employed now. That's dude, fine. Dude, I have. I, I want to be a drifter. I have your boss's email. You do. I'm gonna and you threaten to email her quite a lot. I'm gonna. I'm You're gonna not send, really a good friend. I'm gonna send way. this that clip to. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I want to send this clip to him. Fuck you! <laughs> <laughs> I could see for a second you almost said the name. You were really close. No, no, I wouldn't uh, say that. I know. That's good. Uh, uh, <laughs> <laughs> no. Um. So. So yeah, I feel like in a lot of ways, I just kind of, I live this lifestyle where I'm just like. But do you think if you had a job that you liked, you would feel like, you know, eight hours is nothing? Well, because you're, you're like, mean, oh, I want to make movies. You know, you spend like 16 hours a day on set. What do you mean? Oh, yeah. No, I know that. Yeah. And I've thought about that a lot before, like in the movie industry, like or, or TV as well. Like long, long days are the norm, like mm -hmm. everywhere. Um. That's a good question. It may be like I, you all, you're going to laugh, but it may be that I go back to school and I study film. I won't laugh at you for going back to school. It's, okay. a, it's a good, it's a good. You don't laugh at the idea of me going back to school. You laugh at the fact that I you always keep, yeah, you keep, say You've that been I'm, saying that for six years. It's always on the horizon. Yeah, um, seven years now. Yeah. Um, w We made a resolution before this podcast, or I guess you could say resolution, that we're sure. not going to say um a lot. So, so I'm I'm sorry that I just said it, That's and okay. I I will try to minimize. You don't you it. don't have to not ever say it. Okay, but there's this like um, <laughs> there's this like new type of speech that people do. It's like this fake not not you. I'm saying just like in general. I hear it on podcasts, and I actually caught myself doing it when I was editing a podcast, and I threw up because it was just disgusting. I it's this type of talk where people take these super yeah, and you know when it started to happen right after Elon Musk was on Joe Rogan. And these people, they try to take these long pauses and they, they just keep saying the thing that they just said before they get to the point. Right. Do you have an example? Yeah. So an example, a way that they would talk would be kind of like exactly what I'm doing right now. It's so fucking annoying. And if when they're going on a fucking tangent about shit, mm -hmm. it's just like, ooh, it's disgusting. I'll send you some clips, but people do it so much now because they're trying to be so fake deep, and I think they might be conscious of saying um, mm -hmm. and I don't know. It's just, it's fucking drives me nuts. Is it kind of like in that one clip where Kanye goes, <laughs> I just said a prayer in that it, moment. It was, a like that? it was a lot longer pause than that, but yeah. listen, to, listen to the first time Elon was on Joe okay. Rogan, and it's not annoying when he does it because you could see that there's just like a million things happening behind those eyes. Mm -hmm. You know, the those fucking precious, precious <laughs> eyes, the fucking, uh, CPUs overheating or something. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, I, I can't stand it. I just feel let like shit fly. Just whatever you're thinking, just say it. <laughs> I don't want, I don't care. I don't want filtered thoughts. I feel like Fuck we it. could, we could definitely get Elon Musk one day within like the next couple of years because he's like, he's meme savvy and he's like, like hip, or at least he wants us to think he's hip, and like he would fucking come on here and chill with us for sure. At, we might I, have to go to him though, but oh, for for sure, I'll travel to the ends of the earth, Elon. I'm willing to make this happen, and we're we will have a catamaran in the future. Um, it's I I guess it's gonna be me who has to. You could up. just charter one. You don't have to buy one. Okay, we will charter a catamaran to wherever the, you are, Elon. It, we means me. Yep. <laughs> I don't. Pay for it. I don't, I'd rather get a yacht. I don't want a catamaran. Okay. All right? That's fine. Well, I just feel like the catamaran is- Yeah, what's what's your obsession it's, with it's catamarans? Lot, I gotta you look just up learned a, what it was. I gotta look up a catamaran to make sure I'm thinking of the right thing, but- I need a wireless keyboard so I could have this here and look over type. Yeah. Um, L look, that that kind of- I'm See, I'm, that's a nice one, but I'm that, thinking of that's like, like a, go you're, back. You're thinking of this. Yeah, but no, go, no. Go back. See, that's what I think of. Okay. I'm sorry. Go this to is, the bottom this left picture. This is terrible picture. podcasting in both ways because- You're looking on your phone. It doesn't matter. They can't see us Nothing on the matters. video and on the- Nobody watches this. 
Hey, you asked me to go back, so look at the fucking and I thing said the so bottom, we can get off this fucking I said fucking the bottom tangent. left one, and you didn't click it. This? That's what I was thinking of. Okay. All and right? that looks good. No, that's not what I want. Okay. Well, anyway. You're looking at what's on it. When I think Catamaran, I think of um, I think of the boat that Christian Bale is on in The Dark Knight. Okay. Never when, saw it. So I don't know what you're talking about. What the f- Never saw it. Wow. Okay, we need to change that. We need to get you on a lot of make a list because I have a list that I'm watching of shit already. So I'll put it at the bottom. I don't. I don't want to be. I don't want to be on the bottom. I don't deserve the bottom. You got to sneak find some. Why are you saying room. you? You're not on the list. You're just sending me recommendations. Yeah, but my I'll recommendations are so good. They need to. You need to bump. I'll a couple. get around to it. Anyway. So I picture when I think of being surrounded by like beautiful supermodels, I think catamaran. I don't think yacht. I, when I think yacht, I think of like just empty uh, IG influencer model types, you know, just jiggling their asses. What's, I don't want. I don't mind the, the jiggly between... ass, but I don't want you to actively jiggle it all the time. <laughs> I want a girl. I want girls with a little bit of class that dress sensuously. And they know how to. They know how to. It sounds like you want escorts. <laughs> no. Uh, What's the difference between a supermodel and an Instagram model? I don't There's know. No just difference. class. I feel like. I don't even. Do I want even a supermodel? I feel like I want a, like a ballerina. I think that's what it is in the Dark Knight. He 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 like pimps out the like the French ballet or something. And Ball- that's that's what you picture yourself as. Do like in in that same. Ideally. Like a, a classier, who's who's that guy, the influencer? Dan Bilzerian? Yeah, like a classier Dan Bilzerian. That's how I picture myself. I okay. need to start dressing better, though, if I'm going to fulfill that. Or fuck it. 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 I, I'll, I'll have millions, whatever. <laughs> I'll dress however the fuck I want. Do you remember when you came in here and you asked me uh, if I thought you could be the Vince Papali of the NBA? Yeah. Now, I asked you, we, we got into that, and I asked mm-hmm. you, is that something serious? And you're like, oh, no. Is this something serious? I mean, you I, think this <laughs> is going to get you a catamaran? Because <laughs> I'm going to tell you, we'll probably get a couple thousand views if we keep this up. Uh-huh. On, uh, you know, per episode, we might be able to have like a decent little income from it. Yeah. I don't think you're going to get a catamaran. <laughs> it's exponential, bro. We're just doing this until we get a $200 million Spotify deal. No, dude, <laughs> let me tell you something. Spotify fucking sucks for podcasts. Wow. You they, just, might, they could pull my profile. Fuck Spotify, dude. It's terrible for podcasts. Oh, my God. That's why we're not going to put this on Spotify. Growing pains, bro. Just give them a minute. Jesus Get it figured Christ. out. Get they, it figured out. They're not going to pick us up. They're not going to get us $200 million. I don't want them. Spotify, I will fracture from this podcast and start my own if you'll give me $100 million. If If you will give me $100, I will make my own podcast. Don't. Don't get confused. This podcast is for sale. <laughs> Everything's for sale <laughs> to the highest bidder. Yeah, but from like, but here's the thing: for me, Spotify's money is not the same as regular money. Okay, because you have to be part of Spotify. Uh. So for me, two hundred mil from Spotify is like fifty bucks. <laughs> it's got to be more. <laughs> You're insane. Up it. <laughs> Up it. You're insane. Up it. I mean, the the email is is on our fucking website. It's on the SoundCloud. It's on the YouTube. Hit you know, bang our line. It's open. But Joe Rogan has been grinding for how long? Like ten eleven years. years. Uh, eleven years on the podcast, and they offered him two hundred million. You're saying up it, up it, <laughs> more. <laughs> you ever see that thing? Um, when Michael Cohen's testifying, I think it was Michael Cohen. He's testifying. More, more, more. Five hundred times more. more. That's me to Spotify. That's Three, me. Three hundred million. That's me. Probably. <laughs> no, it's like a billion. Probably. <laughs> you got to adjust for inflation too. Yeah. Ten years. I don't. I don't want to be doing this in ten years. I'll I, be honest. Really? Ten years. I hope. I hope. I just. I want to grow. You know, like <laughs> height wise, I really want to grow. But like, like personality wise, I just want to grow together. And then we have like our own little families, but we still come and do this, and just like. Just like we have this like weird parasocial relationship with people and and you how, know how long will you do this if it doesn't have an audience? Um couple weeks. <laughs> <laughs> uh if it does I, I I do it for fun with you, like yeah, but I could see, see us like, doing it a couple of years. Okay. 
What if what if we just get to 100 episodes and I'm like, I quit? I'll be sad. Really? Yeah. It's really funny that you wouldn't even be able to do a fraction of this on your own. <laughs> I'd be like, me. can I? Can you give me the? Just give me all the shit. And you're like, okay. And then I like I try to figure it out, and you come over, and it's just all like in a mess, and I'm somehow entangled like in the middle of this ball <laughs> of and, the backdrop and the lights and the yeah, fucking cables. You're just like, what the fuck happened? And and I just go, I tried my best. That's what I could happened. set it all up for you just like this, and I don't think you could get it to a final product. That hurts my feelings, but you, <laughs> you, you, you know why it hurts so much is because you're right. Like, I just wouldn't put the effort in. I'd just be like, ah, fuck it. Like, I'll just upload what the raw footage. <laughs> so back to my original question here. Mm. Do do I feel like a bajillionaire to you? Um, Because I'm, I priced out everything and I sent it to you. And yeah. I didn't even include the lights because I already had them uh-huh. or the camera right. or the lens or anything. So, right. And I'm not trying to fucking like flex over here you know that's not me i just want to know me from your perspective uh you're definitely a little bit a decent bit more responsible with your money than i am i feel like it's not even that though like like we wanted to do this and we didn't have any of this Mm -hmm. then i just got us all of this yeah that's pretty cool. That's pretty, what I want to know. Pretty I neat did, what you did. That's really just all I wanted to hear. <laughs> he just wanted me to <laughs> suck him off on camera. Just a little. Just a little. <laughs> oh, man. Dude, I think it's going good. It's going all right. You think so? Yeah. It's just all right? Uh, it's going, I'm, I'm happy. Going I'm still... I'm, I, w- I am equally as fucking excited as I am when we started. Okay. I'm Now I'm nervous just to make sure that this is going to come out. Mm-hmm. Good. But, dude, I'm fucking still so excited. Because there's blinking lights. Also, my, my phone just vibrated. I'm putting it... It's all right. I'm putting it somewhere. I don't want to be rude. Don't worry you about it. You deserve my full-fledged attention. You put yours away. I'm going to take mine out. Okay. Uh, the reason I'm going to do that is because I have notes. Okay, I good. might have I might have that leftover notes. Podcast topics. Well, one of them from last time was video coming soon. Do you feel at all weird about, like, your arm placement? No. Not at all. Um, found a spider in my house the other day, mm-hmm. and it was a pretty. I was well. Danielle found a spider in our house. Mm-hmm. I wasn't home, and she was telling me about the spider a lot. Right? <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> You're like fucking Ricky Bobby. I don't know what to do with my hands. You um, think that looks good? No, I don't think so at all. Oh, fuck. I, come on, I'm getting to a okay. point here. This is very important. So she took a picture of the spider, and she looked up like. She wanted to know what it was. Mm-hmm. And based off of some very quick research, it we're pretty sure it was a poisonous spider, right? Venomous. Same thing. Just just saying for the record, it is venomous. So I was thinking about it. Imagine I died because I got bit by a spider. <laughs> Especially and, if it was a spider that you took the time to look up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, <laughs> well, I think... I think she took care of the spider because, like I said, she wasn't home. I wasn't home. She was uh, home. Uh, but I was just thinking about, like, man, like, that is <laughs> that's something that can happen. Yeah. Like, I could get killed from a spider. Yeah. And that's and like. they're a, so tiny. They're so tiny, and that's such, like, a bitch way to go it out. It doesn't make sense. It's like, I'm, <laughs> to them, I'm a god, you know, in terms of sheer size. And I'm a they, god. And they don't even have that much fucking venom in them. Yeah. That's was, not was, right. Imagine if we could kill God. That's what that's, that would be like. Yeah. And God is infamous. I mean, we kind of did. That's what this holiday is all about. <laughs> what did you say? <laughs> what did you say? <laughs> I said God is infamous. <laughs> I had a I had a discussion today um, with you didn't you didn't really react how I wanted you to about the the spider thing, so I kind of feel a little silly now. I'm sorry. Wh- it's I, okay. I mean, I thought you would have been like, you know, I, I I don't really know what I was looking for, but what I got wasn't. I said that was yeah, I agreed with you. Sure, I said sure. that's crazy. I, like yeah, they're so small and they could kill us. Okay, that's fucking weird. It's weird, but it is. You know, I wanted I you to go more. You. I wanted you to go more off of. Uh, I, no, <laughs> I'm putting my hand down, so you put your hand on top of mine. I'm not. I'm not gonna. Someone's gonna make that a fucking gif. I hope they do. But uh, nobody's watching. No. <laughs> what were you saying about a conversation you had today? Uh, oh, <laughs> man, taking the cans off and running for the hills. I want. I want to hear about it. Today is Easter Sunday. The uh, 
the the day that our Lord rose from the dead. Thank you, Jesus. Um, we I celebrate a day that a corpse was stolen. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it is what it is. Also, you want to crucify like one of the most famous people of the time? Yeah. Don't put him in a cave. <laughs> <laughs> Don't put him in a cave. Well, here, here's the thing. If you believe like the Bible in a literal sense, then then today is the day that Jesus rose from the dead after he was crucified. But if I got killed by a spider mm-hmm. and so we're back to the spider thing. Yeah. But okay. no, we're, we're going to come around. OK. And they put my somebody put my body in a cave. Mm-hmm. Would you not then go to that cave and give me a proper burial? Do you do, do you I res- have to do you respect me enough to go get my corpse? I love you, but do I have to do all that? I gotta carry if, you. If you got bit by your if you bloated died, <laughs> corpse, no, you'd shit yourself. It'll be, all be. I'd, I'd expel everything inside of me. No, but you'd be like puffy from the venom and shit. And you'd be like rigor True. mortis. Yeah, your dick no, would be all hard. <laughs> 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 I was just gonna say, please don't look at my dead dick. I'm definitely gonna. <laughs> It's what you would want. No, not dead, about, not bro? dead, because it wouldn't. You want be... me to see your live dick? Yeah. Okay. Do you think? Do you think if a cor- Do you think if a person died with a boner, they'd still have a boner, or would uh, it get soft? I I don't think rigor mortis sets in like instantaneously. So you think it'd get soft? I guess unless they just really. I guess uh, maybe it would depend on how stiff it was to begin with. You know how 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 stiff the stiff was before I'm it was gonna, a stiff. I might have to open an ig- incognito browser <laughs> when I get home. Control Shift N. Yeah. Um, but I, I would get your corpse out of a cave. That's sweet, if somebody put you I'm in a da- cave, I would I would clothe you first, uh-huh. so you weren't <laughs> flopping around. What would you do before you clothe me? I'd stand You'd there for. A I'd stand there for. <laughs> A while, <laughs> and what would you do? Just look? Or? Yeah, no, I'm, I'm not fucking. <laughs> yeah, but I just. I'm not saying you would fuck me, but no, no, no. But you would, you'd enjoy the view. I would stand there for a disrespectful amount of time, <laughs> and, <laughs> and just and just kind of smell the air and be like, "Ugh, you stink." Yeah, that's another just thing too. Insulting stuff about me. Yeah, you probably would stink. Yeah. Ugh, pee you, but that's Brady. Not your you're, fault. you're 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 gross. That's not your fault because you're dead. Yeah. If you could control it, you would be a, a nice smelling dead body. That's sweet. Because I know you. You would. You would yeah, you know, I'd be, be really self conscious. You'd be, I'd be the like, cleanest. God, I hope he doesn't smell my dead farts. <laughs> Do you think morgues fucking reek? What's a morgue smell like? I don't know. There's all like formaldehyde That's and shit. True. Like I'm sure they have ways of. That's true. Like, also, they're like frozen too. Yeah. Or, you know. Do you chilled. think they they hang a lot of like uh, Glade plugins and like air fresheners and stuff? Somebody buying. Glade plugins for a morgue is the funniest thing to me ever. And I'm not going to stop thinking about that. Car washes must love morgues, like morticians. They're their biggest customer. A car wash? <laughs> yeah, because they're always selling those little air fresheners. <laughs> <laughs> but I would give I would give you a proper burial. That's sweet, so, but I, I'm telling you, you don't have to. Okay. That's gross. Sure. You don't have to. But, so do you really think... That one of his homies didn't get him out of the cave. You really think he strolled out of there on his own? Well, that's what I'm saying. If you believe the literal interpretation of the Bible, then he did, which is what my conversation was about earlier today. I don't get why I'm very ignorant to the Bible, even though I went to CCD and all that shit. Uh, I don't get why JC gets so much props. That's Jesus Christ. Mm -hmm. Um, I don't get why he he gets so much props for for dying for our sins. He had the ability to revive himself. Like I'll, yeah, if had, I, if, I would die for just your sins. Not even like even if it was just your sins, I'd yeah. die for your sins if I could just come back to life. You know? Yeah, yeah. But then also, again, he, he came back to hurt. life, but then didn't come back to earth. Oh, is that true? Well, I don't like, know yeah, shit I mean, because about he the didn't, Bible. What People happened? are so angry, probably. Yeah, I don't. It doesn't matter. Right. Um, yeah. What is that's all there? You, yeah, you, I guess, you oh, just like, yeah, it, you just went yeah, and then just trailed turn, off and said nothing. You could turn water into wine, but you can't escape. Right. <laughs> like you just you let them torture you. 
Yeah. And crucify I, you betwixt two thieves. We're getting we're getting into some dicey territory. We're getting into But, some but think about this. Who crucified him? I, I thought it was the Romans, right? Now who's the most Catholic in the world? The Romans. Roman Catholic. They're making up for it. Right. You know, they they went total opposite way. I don't I don't follow you actually. I said right, but I don't know they, what you mean. They were like they're the ones that killed him. Yeah. But now they're the ones that believe in him the most. Maybe because they feel bad. That's what I'm saying. Mm. You know? You know what I did? You know What's your confirmation name? Or if it's if it's like a password of yours, you oh, don't have to say it. Well, here's the thing. I never got confirmation. I just had my first communion. And, and then you dipped. stopped? Yeah. Why? I don't know. Well, I moved and Yeah, I don't but know. you could if you could still be religious if you move. You know that, right? Yeah, I like, guess. Like, you don't have to make your confirmation at the same church. Right. I don't know. I think I was just, I had my fill. I was just like. <laughs> but but did you want to do it? Oh, no. I so never, it was I your never family's. like, going to church or anything. It was your family's idea to sign you up. Yeah. And so, but they they were okay with you just stopping at communion? I guess I'm I'm thinking I probably put up a heck of a fight. Okay. I used to only go to church because my mom would like bribe me with the promise of donuts after. Oh, we're we're unpacking some shit here. <laughs> That's why I have a problem with food now. Yeah. <laughs> you were bribed with it. Yeah. Wow. And did you get a donut every time you went to church? Not just a donut. The body Plural. of Christ didn't Plural. fill you up. <laughs> the body of Christ compelled me to to eat Donuts, okay. Boston cream. And they just let you, you, you put up a fight and they just let you dip after communion. I guess. I don't really remember. Like I, I went s- all the way. I'm confirmed. You went all the way I with went, Jesus? I went, <laughs> <laughs> I went all the way with God and uh, I'm confirmed. That's nice. So, What's your... Stephen. You, Stephen. With a PH. Nice. Yeah. Like but Stephen I, King. Like Stephen King. I wouldn't have done it, though. I mean, I didn't continue going to church after that. Oh, yeah. I only went because, you know, family's like, oh, yeah, I did it. You did it. Yeah, we're family. This is what we do. I only go to well, church you... for, like, funerals. Yeah, I don't, yeah. And, and then, like, the whole thing is, like, if you're not going to, if my family's, like, not going to keep going to church, why make me go through all that? Yeah. Just to be able to. And there's nothing wrong with going to church. Yeah, whatever. but they, but they, I feel like they weren't religious. They just did it because they did it, or they yeah. made me do it because they did. It. Yeah, or you know? they have to. They just have to show everybody else that that they did it. Yeah, you know. So you want to throw something too? That's the garbage spot over there. Okay. The, I feel like this whole setup right here is the garbage spot. That's not nice. <laughs> That's rude. <laughs> I spent a lot of money on this stuff. That's very no, rude. No, no, no. I didn't mean the quality of the setup is bad. I just meant like the final product is going to be shit because uh, we're not funny. No, that's not true. <laughs> that's not true. Dude, we're fucking... We got to hit our stride. We'll get there. Yeah, I, I mean... we're doing all right. It's the same thing like with the audio. I mean, with the audio, we were we were really hitting a stride. Mm. Like, you, you haven't heard the episodes that's before this one, but... Or the few that are before this one, but... We will get there. How many episodes do we have? This is 20. Okay. See, so, I don't know. That's okay. You don't listen. You <laughs> listen to one. I'm going to start, though. You did You did show some enthusiasm last week. You're like, oh, send me the new episodes when you put it up. Yeah. You're not going <laughs> to. I'm going to listen. I Why listen don't to- you? Is, uh, it, is it because you don't have time or you pretend you don't have time? Well, yeah. Like I said, like I only get six, get six hours, hours a day to. Sure. Uh, when I'm that's driving. That's 30 hours, though. Well, actually, it's. It's 24 hours that you have because Friday doesn't matter what time you go to bed. Right. So take Friday out. Right. You have four, you know four days of six hours. Yeah. You have 24. You have a full day in a week. Yeah, but that's to do whatever you want. That's part of the problem is you kind of like, or at least I get stuck in this this mental trap where I'm just like, I'm always thinking about I'm dreading the the work day the next day and I just don't. I don't So ma- it sounds like you don't know what you want to do with your time. And then you That's get true. to bedtime and you're like, oh, I didn't do anything. Yeah. And well, and part of it is like I I have O C D. Okay. And, and so like I didn't know that. I, I've told you that. I knew that. Okay. 
<laughs> so like a lot of shit just takes is, is smelling like... every bite of your food part of that <laughs> honestly maybe i mean it why do... do you do that i like I to think ex- about it a lot <laughs> Don't don't say you. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I like to experience the meal. <laughs> for as much as uh, for for as much money as you spend on food, you <laughs> you get your money's worth. I really do. From and not that from start to the very end. Yeah. So I like to when and I'm I'll leave eating. It at that. When I'm eating, I like to periodically, not every bite, but like periodically, I like to, <laughs> I like to sniff whatever I'm eating and just really like get the whole, get the whole fucking experience. You know what I mean? Just let it fill me. Do you, would, <laughs> would you fill do that? Right up. Would you do that on a date? I would. I would Is probably it, try to suppress it. Do you do it consciously? Yeah, I think so. It's it's one thing to get the, the the server brings the plate and puts it down. Yeah, and you like lean in to smell it, but you it's on the fork <laughs> and you bring it past it's, your mouth. It's almost to my mouth. But then you go one floor higher. <laughs> you breathe it in, and then you go, <laughs> you hit the floor down, <laughs> and you eat it. <laughs> that food goes on one wild ride. <laughs> it's cold by the time it gets to my <laughs> mouth. <laughs> I suck all the heat off of whatever I'm eating with my big old nostrils. Is it worth it? I feel like it enhances it. It's like anticipatory. It's like, oh, have this you smells ever, good, have, and now it's going to taste good. Have too. you ever done it and it hasn't smelled good? Have you ever been let down by the smell? I will say, what's something recent? Like, maybe Greek yogurt I'm thinking of. Like, smells kind of funky, but tastes good. I don't know. There's definitely some things that don't taste great or, or don't smell great, but they taste good. And But to be honest, I just keep sniffing them anyway. So it is sort of habitual, I think. Uh, somebody take that part out of context, please. <laughs> um, I, would love to, I would love to be a fly on the wall on your next date. Uh-huh. I, I I wish you could be too, because that would mean that I had a next date. But I think that might be a long time. Yeah. Well, Chris Hansen said you're out here swiping left, <laughs> swiping right. So yeah, well, if I'm swiping, I gotta swipe right more. I gotta swipe. Period. I'm I'm off the apps, and I've been off for you know for you, some time. you peaks and valleys here. You're uh, you're in a rut right now. But. Another thing that you make fun of me for. One thing is the college thing. Me constantly saying. I don't saying, make fun of you about it. It's just it's silly. It's silly. Okay. <laughs> it's, okay, so the exact definition, you think it's silly. It's silly because you're like, oh, I'm going to go back to school. I'm going to go back to school. And the school is right there, and you drive by it to get here, and you've done nothing to try to – you've never even, like, Googled the classes. <laughs> I I know the general gist. That's like, what they I'm got, saying. They got math and stuff, I'm sure. Uh, What's an- the other thing? Uh, another thing that you like to joke about me always saying I'm going to do is I always say that I'm going to get in the gym. I'm always going to get in shape. But, like, I don't want to be back on the apps until I feel a little more confident and I feel like I'm, like. Well, let, maybe this will boost your confidence. Maybe. Maybe, you know. If if I can get a fucking catamaran, that'll do <laughs> wonders for my confidence. Or but, at least charter one. But, well, don't you think somebody like somebody that's interested in you just for the catamaran? That's not somebody you want to be with, is it? Um, you if want someone if to love you in for the you. French ballet. Yeah, <laughs> you want someone to love you for you. You and then the catamaran is just a bonus. I got you to love me for me, and then yeah. everything else just needs to be filler <laughs> on my dick. <laughs> You're wild. That sounds horrible. I'm really not like that. I is I this just, a, are you? Is this all performative or? I don't know. Some of it is. We'll find our stride, and I'll be more natural. Okay. I feel like I can make jokes like that with you because you know that I'm actually, you know, not to blow myself too much here, but like I'm, I'm, you know, I'm, I'm like a nice dude, You're and I'm like kind, guy. kind of like a sensitive guy in some You're ways. You're very sensitive. Oh, thank you. I, I don't think you meant that to be nice, but thank you. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm not like the, you know, the. Yo, I just want to fuck bitches and grab some tits, bro. <laughs> Um, uh, although I do, I, I have, uh, sure, I have, I mean, every, listen, I'm, ev- yeah, I'm a human being. I have thoughts Everybody like that that's into but. whatever. Everybody just wants to fucking grab. Yeah. Everybody just wants to fucking grab. 
Yeah. <laughs> and if Not you think fucking about grab, it, but fuck and grab. A lot of things that we do in our day-to-day lives is kind of... To with, fuck and grab. Yeah, or e- to, even to, if we don't realize it. Or to want to be fucked and grabbed. Yeah, exactly. But... But so I can make jokes with you like, oh, yeah, I just want to fuck the French <laughs> ballet. And and I know you'll find it funny, but I just want, even if you're, this isn't just to get clunge. This, <laughs> this isn't just to get. It's all new stakes right now because it's on video. Yeah, I just want people to know that I'm I'm an all right fellow. Because before, you are, you are you're a great fellow. Thanks, buddy. Um, before, it's just audio. Mm-hmm. So if somebody wanted to cut it out of context, it's a, you know they could still do it. Yeah. But now there's just straight up video of you saying that now. Yeah, a couple seconds ago I went like this. <laughs> like you can't really interpret that too many ways. Yeah. For for the people who are just listening, I graphically am thrusting. You gotta watch Wayne's World, please. Yeah, you I'll were watch. Me. I'll watch some bullshit Dark Knight, whatever you want me to watch. Oh, uh, bullshit Dark Knight. One of the one of the fucking greatest films to come out in the past, like fucking, it's a great movie. Christopher okay. fucking Nolan. Oh. Hello, oh, Christopher you know, Nolan he, says he, hello. He really flipped the truck in New York. <laughs> oh, you gotta watch it. Dude, the effects are practical. In the they Dark really Knight Rises, the they hospital. really they really had a fucking plane. Like you're an asshole. You don't appreciate practical. It. How long practical is it? Effects? How long? Oh no, no, I do, I do. But how long is it? The movie? Yeah. Um, the movie's like two, maybe two and a half. Oh, close, like two twenty. I'm gonna say two twenty four. I want to look that's, it up and see how close I am. That's a lot. Oh, you're a child if you're if you're turned off by that. Hey, watch cinema, dude. I dude. I get home watch from work. Cinema. I get home from work and I only have I only have six hours, and that's <laughs> if I want to get seven eight oh. hours of sleep. Oh, but Friday night doesn't count. Friday night doesn't so count. So I'm gonna well, suck and fuck you. Well, for me it does. I gotta get up early. On oh, Saturdays. that's right. You work like weird bullshit hours. Yeah, I work less than you though, and I'm still paid. You for do 40. two hours thirty two. That's I was way off too, by eight minutes. That's too many minutes, dude. It. Oh my God, Heath Ledger in the performance of a that's one hundred and fifty three minutes. That's too many minutes. You know what I hate? I'm. I'm so mad that you just said that because I hate it when like websites will say a hundred and like fifty seven min- minutes instead. Hey, oh, it's two hours and something. It's tell, two yeah. hours and something. Tell me the hours first. I better and see then an the H. minutes after. I better see an H. Better see an H followed by an M, like an apparel store. <laughs> you know what I mean? Sure. Not just minutes. Yeah. No M's. Because guess what? Now I'm doing math. Yeah. Is bullshit, and it's not even like an hour is an easy like it's sixty. I gotta divide some random fucking number by sixty. Yeah, which by the way, if now it was that, fifty, that'd be better. Maybe change time. Yeah, I was just gonna say. Now that we're on the subject, hey, why are hours sixty minutes? Make yeah. it a hundred because yeah. that's what dollars are. <laughs> and I know back in the day they didn't have dollars necessarily. It was some other fucking thing. Catch up with the times. You know Change how inf- inflation is a thing? Yep. Time should have inflation. Change it. It, it should be equal to, to dollars now. Yeah. Change it. At 20, and then it's not even like like the metric system, right? Mm-hmm. Everyone's like, oh, I don't use it. It's, it's just tens. Everything's tens. Right. Very easy to learn. Right. 60 seconds, 60 minutes, 24 hours? Yeah. Seven days in a week? Yeah. 12 months? Mu- there's, there's Why do no- we got so many numbers? That's what I'm saying. Ten everything. And you know it's weird. Like we have the whole imperial versus metric argument, and you know people. I I think by for all intents and purposes, it seems like people say the metric system is just kind of superior, mm-hmm. uh, and, and most of the world uses it, so it's kind of hard to argue. Not most of the world, like ninety nine yeah. percent of the world. If we can get creative and have like different, like we can improve on systems and have better measurement systems. Let's get let's get nifty with time. You know, let's yeah. do something. Else. You got to change it up. This is you got to change it. it up. Yeah, it's fucking it's whack. Mm-hmm. But then what would it, what, I mean? Ten o'clock and then ten o'clock again. It's only weird because we fucking don't have it now. Yeah. If somebody way smarter than the two of us came up with it, if scientists put all their collective heads together, they could come up with time that's a little less confusing. Also, I, we made it up. Right. So what's it matter? Yeah. Also, how about the fucking two hours that, like, from 10 to 12, most mm-hmm. people are asleep? 
Yeah. Let's just not have those. <laughs> Go to sleep at 10 o'clock. Right. Wake up whenever and it's whatever time it is minus those two hours. Right. Just so you don't have to worry about it. I want to be able to add and subtract hours. You know what I mean? Sure. Like I don't, but sure. Like like if you tell me, oh, like it's five o'clock right now. What time is it going to be in? You know, I, I started I, this point and then I realized it was very, very stupid. Okay. But no, actually, it's not stupid. It, it's not quite stupid. It's kind of stupid. If you tell me that you started something at 637 and then you ended at 912. I, it, I'm did yawned. you just burp into the mic? I just like yawned and burped and I'm trying to, You went burp, burp. I'm on video too so I can't tase on day and pull back because yeah. then it's it's very obvious But If you tell me that you start something at 637 and then end it at 912 You impressed that I remember those exact numbers it's Pretty good I don't want to have to like do mental legwork Like it should just be neatly addable and subtractable yeah, but like, you, you you can't have everything based off ten. No, I want. That's how I want it. Okay. Also, don't you know? Don't start shit at random times. Like what? Like if when I see a like you're gonna be like, oh, who watches baseball? They'll start a baseball game at six o two p.m. Right. Don't fucking do that. <laughs> that drives me nuts. Like a Jets game will start at one o five. Uh huh. Start it five <laughs> minutes earlier. Because that drives me nuts. Yeah, people get upset because in the NBA, I don't know if uh, if baseball is like this, but the the quote unquote start time for the game will be like six thirty, but tip off isn't until like you know six thirty seven or six forty one or whatever. Like then that's not the start time. Yeah, exactly. Like it's not when runs the ball when the ball's going up and they're doing this. That's when it starts. Yeah, or or even if they're just consistent with like. You know, the game starts at 6.30, but there's five minutes of, of leeway, and then tip-off is at 6.35. I'm fine with that because, you know, there's, sure. like, pre-show, like, you know. Yeah, the analysts are going to do their thing and be like, oh, you got to look out for this player because he's on a hot streak, you know? But sure, but be consistent. Yeah, just don't be random. I'm going to put in eye drops right now. Oh, I yeah. hope this doesn't... You're oh. going to have to take over the conversational yeah, uh, could, burden. Are you okay with that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Do it up. Because um, I carry this podcast a lot. As we... Well, wow. As we're doing this, I kind of feel... <laughs> I kind of feel a little bit bad that we're going to be putting this out into the world. Like, we're taking up space on a server that, like, on YouTube and uh, across the internet that, like, a scientist could have had to, like, <laughs> explain something serious. You know what I mean? We're just talking about... Yeah. Poopy and potty, and somebody <laughs> could have been explaining. We looked at adult film stars on Cameo for ten minutes. I can I say something going sure. back to the whole like me wanting to wanting people to think that I'm like a sensitive guy for whatever reason. Why do I even care? Sure. Um, I was questioning whether or not it was okay to like look at the pawn, the porn star. <laughs> I almost said porn stars. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I was questioning whether or not it was okay for me to look at the porn stars and like say sexually explicit things like oh I'd like to you know bend her over a barrel stuff like that uh, but why do I care number one who's gonna judge me they're, I don't know it's like they're porn stars they have sex for a living is it so weird if I say oh I want to fuck her I don't want to. I don't want to seem too lewd and and crass. I think I understand what you're saying. You're like, oh, if I say I want to fuck these women that are on the t on the TV here, that's their job is to like fuck. Yeah. So, but then people might be like, oh, don't objectify them. Sure, sure. But I think what's worse is when you said um, whatever you said about the catamaran and the French ballet <laughs> when you're doing this. I think that might have been a little worse, but. I'll have to go through and. I'm a man of the arts. You like you want classy women. I appreciate women. ballet. Why? Why did you have to do eye drops? What's going on? Do you fucking? I wear contact lenses. Okay. And sometimes they dry. Is it out. the lights? No, I've just had them on since you know. Twelve o'clock today or whatever. So. Ten o'clock. There's no twelve. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. Exactly. <laughs> fuck twelve. Oh uh, yeah. Fuck twelve. Uh, so what else? Are we are we done here? 
I don't know. I want, Do you have notes? I mean, we're we're over an hour in. I'm pretty sure I can make something out of this. Um, or maybe not. Who knows? I hope I can. Hopefully you don't accidentally hit delete, and then we'll have to do this all over again, word for word. No, I think I think this was a good first video podcast. It is we use this, we utilize the screen. Yeah, you watched your video. Uh, I think I think this was a good one. And we, I feel like with the audio, the bar was like here, and for those who can't see, I'm I'm holding my hand not that high. Sure. Now, what do you mean by that? And then, I just feel like it's not the bottom. You know, we we had it. Oh, I think our audio only podcast, I think was like, if the bar was here, I think we were above it. Okay. Because I did, you're going to be like, oh, research, uh-huh. but I went out and listened to like, you know, little bits of yeah. a bunch of podcasts just to hear, and <laughs> <laughs> just to hear and see like what other people are doing. Uh-huh. So I'm going to, I'm going to abandon. I mean, we, we were, we're getting tens of views. Yeah. Ten- listens on SoundCloud. Yeah. We're recording into very expensive gear. Yeah. Right? So I feel like most starter podcasts don't have like, you know, again, this isn't bragging, but I feel like most starter podcasts don't have this level right out the gate. Yeah. And then when we left the studio, we were using like cheaper microphones and then I got those $11 ones from fucking Amazon. Those sucked. Mm-hmm. But we kind of downgraded ourselves. By but- the way, those, those did suck and they're still in my fucking closet <laughs> along with your lawn chair. When are you picking them up? When am I getting my graphics cards? <laughs> we'll trade. Okay, sounds good. You live so far away from me now. I don't want to come all the way I out there. I live 20 minutes You from live you. 35 miles from me. It's one not way. 35. I moved. Are you, you forget insane? That. I moved. I remember that. You don't live 35 in New Jersey? That's that's Dude. like a 50-minute drive. Yeah, and that's how far it is from my no, new it, place. No, it fucking isn't. Yes, you want me to embarrass don't, you right now? Don't worry about it. Can I... We'll look it up. We'll look it I'll up. I'll look it up done. on our sponsor's website. <laughs> yeah, one, of the, one of the resolutions that we made before, he told me that I cannot do the fake sponsors uh, bit anymore, which is, it really hurts me because I did enjoy it. Yeah, but it's different now. Okay. Yeah. It's different Why now. is it different now that we have video? Like, I'll explain off air and you'll go, you'll, I'll tell you off air and you'll go, <sighs> As I start talking, but why, but why not put our to, viewers to sleep? You can <laughs> <laughs> get back to what you were saying. So I feel like with the audio, we were like above, like most of the uh, strictly audio. But what are you saying about the video? Okay, what I was gonna say is like I feel like our our audio only was decent. It was pretty good, um, comparatively. Uh, sure. But but now that we have the video, I think it's even better. Just. Just in terms of like production value, almost like we we're not just babbling like we've got shit to babble about. Sure. That we can point at, sure. we can gesture to it and say, "Hey, look at that! That's Chris Hansen from Dateline NBC." Yeah. Uh, but now we've we've almost gotten to a point where now we have to we have to, I feel like we have to meet that. You know. What do you mean? Like we have to almost be. We can't just have this background blank for 90 minutes for some episodes. Like, I feel like now we're going to always have to have some shit to show or something. Sure. Well, you know what I think we could do, and we'll talk about this off air, but, like, Mm -hmm. we need to get you a setup, too, so that you can be pulling shit up, too, so we both have access to the TV. Mm, Okay. Because if only I have access to the TV, I can embarrass you. Right. I could pull some shit up here that you you had no control over. We should have a special episode where we just pull up our favorite like videos that we sent each other yeah i would love that that'd be fun i thought about doing that because you know what you're a special guy and you make me giggle you're the man you're the man dude i love this podcast i love it too dude let's i'll, fucking... I'll do it for 30 years dude i'll do it no i said i don't want to do this for another 10 years i'm doing it till i die awesome and, which i hope and if is you get in... your wish it's not gonna be <laughs> 10 years <laughs> which i hope i live a long fucking life so we could do this till we're fucking 95 i often fantasize about well i don't fantasize it but like it's a it's not an active fantasy but i can access it and be like yeah that sounds nice I want to be in the retirement home. I often say to you that I want to. I want to get like syphilis and shit with you <laughs> in the retirement. With home. me or from not, me? Not, not, not from <laughs> you, but like alongside you. But again, you're spoken for, so maybe you'll just have to w- hear my stories of me getting syphilis. From, maybe we'll be in a nursing retirement home. Where, like, home we're, sluts. We're, 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 <laughs> maybe we'll be in a nursing home. Gushing, <laughs> gushing, 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 gilf grannies. Gam Gam Slam Cam. 
<laughs> I got nothing more. <laughs> it's a C-listers podcast. If you like what you heard and saw, um, I don't know why, but <laughs> but this was fun, and uh, yeah. and I, we'll we'll figure out what to do with our arms. Yeah, well, I, I feel like my arms were good, but. Well, you here's the it. thing. I feel like we can't. I gotta both work on like slouching. This. Cause we, yeah, yeah, we're like newscasters. We, yeah, now. we we look like um, I could go down here sometimes, or just like kind of. I could do one jiggle. of these. I just feel like when well, we one of us both can, have our one of us can cross. Yeah, when we both have our hands like this, or maybe I'll keep like a drink, not alcohol. Mm. I'll keep like a drink. Okay, or something. Yeah. Or I could just stay on the on the mouse. I mean, we'll figure it out. Yeah, we got a lot. When of When we both have our hands like this, I feel like we look like you know how some. Uh, high schools will have yeah the morning fucking, morning news yeah, yeah we look like that in in other news gym class this, will be canceled today just, because the tetherball court is filled with bees you don't know this but you mm-hmm. just made me so fucking depressed Why? because that is the most accurate description of what this set looks like <laughs> And that they just didn't made me have very this sad. quality they didn't have this quality you're great man they didn't have cans. Fucking losers. They were speaking into an intercom that was new in 1963. True. Um, I hate to cut you short, but you got to go to bed. You love cutting me short. I do, I do, honestly. Fucking asshole. You got to go to bed, and I don't want this to end before we Mm. wrap up, so... Um, Yikes, I'm going to get three hours (laughs) of sleep. (laughs) It's the Z-Listers podcast. If you like what you heard, again, don't know why. Uh, It's AJP, Brady Neal. Brady Neal. And uh, we'll see you in the next one. Love you guys. Love you too. Bye-bye. We want a million dollars. Give it to us. More. (laughs) More.